everyone, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to show you how I turn this into this. Please watch my last video on how to kit bash with cursed city models if you want to find out how I got to this stage, but if you're just interested in the painting then keep watching. I'm using Vallejo paints as usual. I'll be using white, black, bone white, rosy flesh, blood red, wardlord purple, and gunmetal. So I'm going to start with warlord purple and black. For some reason this warlord purple seems really runny, like it seems thinner than it should be and I haven't noticed this with any other colours in Vallejo game colour because I know some of the Vallejo like game inks are meant to be thinner because they're meant to be sprayed but as far as I'm aware this game colour should be the same as the other ones. I always use this brand and it's the only one that seems to be really thin so I'm not sure what happened there but I'm gonna have to thicken it up a bit with some blood red. I like building up the base colour in washes just because you're gonna end up with shadows and highlights from the very first colour you put on the model. Now I'm just drying it with a cold hairdryer because I don't want to melt the plastic. The next step is going to be to dry brush some bone white. So once the first layer is dry, I'm going to get a small amount of colour undiluted on my flat brush, dry it off on the paper towel and brush up and down back and forth to catch the high points of the model. going in with the second layer for the dry brushing because I think the first layer was still a little bit wet and smudgy and I want the highlights to be really bright. So I've already got quite a lot of contrast with dry brushing and washing. I want my undertone to be red rather than black because in the end I'm hoping for a kind of gross fleshy look to all the skin and the wings. I accidentally stopped recording here when I started with the red wash but all I did was get blood red and thin it down with water and start going over the areas that I want to be red like the material and the underwing.
So after it's dry, I'm taking the blood red again and going in with a smaller, finer brush to get some richness in the material. I'm going to go back into the fleshy parts now. I've taken Warlord Purple, which I haven't thinned down because, as I said, I think it's thinner than it should be anyway. I started going over the wings and then I thought I'd dab it back a bit with some paper towel and I accidentally broke the wings off. So I had a mild panic and I glued it back on with super glue and it seems to be alright. But my adrenaline was still pumping and I did go a bit crazy with the Warlord Purple then, I just decided to cover the entire model. Nightmare. I think it actually looks good at this point. I like the wall or purple on everything to give it a pinkish tinge. Having the two different kinds of red on the material gives it more depth than just having blood red on its own. I probably should have just gone in with a little brush now and started doing highlights but I got a bit lazy and did another dry brush over the top with just plain bone white and I think it ended up a little bit strong. It has knocked back quite a lot of the work that I'd already put in but no worries. This is pretty much how I paint every model, just washing over dark colours and then dry brushing the lighter colours over and over again until I get a contrast that I like and it's adding more depth with the amount of layers that you're putting on. But now because everything is too light again, I'm going back in with the Warlord Purple and a tiny bit of black, but in a more strategic way. I'm not washing over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. 
The wash is very thin, so when I'm dabbing it on with this big brush, it's flowing into the areas that I want it to go, and it's doing a lot of the work for me, especially on the wings. So now I'm just going to go in on the details for the rest of the model, like the shovel and the bat, using gun metal for all the metal parts, and then washing black over to make it look a bit more dirty. Okay, so now I'm pretty happy with the shadows. I'm moving to the final stages of highlighting the skin, and taking a small pointy brush and with undiluted bone white, picking out all the areas that I really want to pop. I'm aiming for a really high contrast with the highlights and shadows. Now I'm doing the same but with the blood red on the material. I want the red to be really rich and have a lot of depth. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. It was a nightmare. nightmare.
and I think I'm happy with the way it looks now. I added a few blood spatters, as always, on the tip of the shovel and the hook. Now I'm going to move on to the base. I've got this dried lichen, I think I got from Amazon, that's been dyed in different colours. They all really change the look of the model, so I'm having trouble deciding what to use. The light green is a massive contrast to the model, which I think looks really good as well, but in the end I opted for the more muted one, the kind of off-white. Then I just went in with my PVA and sand, like I pretty much do to every model. Stuck down the part of lichen with PVA as well. Then I painted over the top of the sand and a bit of the lichen with black and red. I trimmed a little bit of the lichen off because I don't want it to stick out too far past the base. Let's take a look at the final result. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I love all the Cursed City models. I'm definitely going to be uploading more Cursed City related painting tutorials, so please subscribe if you'd like to see more, give it a like if you liked it, and let me know in the comments which are your favourite Cursed City models, and I might just do a video on them. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time!